Uh, what about Prince Harry? Not only did he turn up in court yesterday unexpectedly, straight off an overnight flight, but um, the King and his brother are too busy to see him, apparently. Well, I mean, to be fair, I expect Harry turned up without notice. He didn't tell anyone he was coming. And, you know, people do have diaries, and the King is off well, to Germany. Well, he was supposed to be in France. He's suddenly exactly. free. He could yes, have come a day earlier. Up. Well, he's off to... <laughs> quite nicely. He's off to, he's off to Germany <laughs> to see his relatives, I think, um, today. I think if, you, um, if your son that you were in good relations with was flying in, you'd make time. You probably would do. And the fact is that the, the, the <laughs> royal family is scared to death of talking to Harry in case whatever he, they say to Harry then appears in the press the next mm, day. True. And that's what's driving this. But the interesting thing about this court case, which involves Elton John and my old colleague Simon Hughes and others, uh, who are alleging that the Daily Mail uh, caused them to be bugged and followed, is that the person they refer to as the private investigator who allegedly was working for the Mail, Gavin Burrows, had, according to the Mail and other papers, completely denied he was working for the Mail, which, if true, really pulls the rug from under the case. But, I mean, the, the fact that Harry turned up in court yesterday demonstrates he's taking this matter seriously. I, I'm a bit confused about why the case is there because there was recourse to a lot of these newspapers for, you know, if they were found to be doing illegal activities after Levison or whatever, that people could claim from them, they could they could sue them and, and whatever. So none of this is current. Well, All I of think this... some of it was in relation to 2021, but I might have got that wrong. No, I think it was earlier than that. <laughs> earlier but, than I mean, I think okay. there was a lot of... Ca the, the Southern Mirror in particular had a lot of uh, cases taken against them and the Mail, by and large, escaped that. And I wonder where there is... In fact, uh, Harry and Meghan have declared war on the mail, yeah. whether that's driving this and they've pulled in other people um, with them. Am I right in thinking that Harry's back in court on a separate case on the 9th of May, the week after the coronation? So, essentially, these two cases are sandwiching... I, I'm not quite sure about that, but I thought there, are, there are certainly other cases he's, he's yeah. pursuing, which... Yeah. I'd quite like to see the evidence... I wonder well, what evidence right. there is. Perhaps you will do. Who knows? Mm. I mean, my suspicious mind also wants to know who's paying for um, his flight, because I think it might be the taxpayer. And no. also where he's... Yes, indeed. I think he was undertaking semi-royal duties. He can still claim the fare from the taxpayer. And also, where is he staying? Is he at Frogmore Cottage or is he somewhere else? Well, I'll tell you what, he mm. definitely had security yesterday. You could, yes, who's paying for that? See that around him, and um, uh, very interesting. I don't, don't know who's paying for that. He got uh, pushed around a bit as well. No, he, he was too busy someone. smiling at somebody in the crowd. <laughs> he walked straight into a photographer. Yes, that's right. I wondered if it was Ellie Costello. And you brushed him out the way. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right. Um, so of Gwyneth.